long time no make a video because I've been busy. And let me first preface this prefix. Hi, long time no make no video because I've been super busy. Sorry about that. Uh, that's a discussion for another video and I'll talk about that at another time. But I'm just using the free opportunity I have to make this video that I should have made literally months ago about getting your pension refund. Now, let me just warning warning about the background. So where I am is next to the road, near the road where I live in my home in Jamaica. There's construction going on by my neighbor's house and cars will be passing by every once in a while. You might also hear dogs because that's just, that's just how it is. So please just ignore the background and listen to the information I'm, there's, there's a car, there's a car passing. Just listen to the information I have to provide. Can't be helped, shogunai. Okay. So first, the most important thing you have to do if you want to get a pension refund is when you've decided to leave, uh, about two weeks or three weeks before, you must go to your city hall and inform them that you're leaving. If you don't have any Japanese, uh, that's, I'm not going to say it's okay because for your situation it might not be okay, but in Kainan where I lived, we worked it out where I got a form from Interact when I was leaving and that helped with closing off the city stuff. And then for the pension section, they were so gracious enough. They, I love Kainan. I survived living in Japan for four years using Google Translate. I recommend it for anyone who's moving to Japan, just download it immediately. It saves lives. And so when I went to my city hall in Kainan, the persons who worked in the pension department, they just brought us a computer with Google Translate and we just went back and forth with that to the point where I understood what was going on. Um, hopefully in your situation, in your city or your town where you are, they will either have an English translation service, doubt it, or they will be ingenious enough to use that or you can help them use that. So, car passing by. Yeah, so that's what I did. Um, so I informed them that I was leaving and I would like my pension refund and what the nice lady at City Hall did was gave me a bunch of papers with all the instructions including the form that I had to fill out here. Now I'm not going to turn around the form because this was my extra copy and I wrote on it and I don't want my personal information online but what you can do, I'll link a uh, I'll link a website below that also gives you all the instructions in English and the form that you can download. But at the pension service office at my city hall, they gave that to me. I'll just tell you what's on this form. So on this form, this is a form that you send back once you have arrived in your home country. Um, shoot, let me re rewind. Let me back up. First of all, let me warn you. If you, you can only get pension refund if you have absolutely no intentions of ever going back to Japan to live. Or what I'm meaning to say, it's, it's a one-time thing. One-time refund. So, like for me, I'm back in Jamaica. I don't have plans to ever live in Japan. I'll visit, but I don't really want to live in Japan ever again. So that's why I applied for it. But if you leave Japan and then you change your mind and you decide, I want to go back to Japan and live, then you will have to just pay into that pension pension program. And then if you change your mind to come back, you're not going to get the money that you paid in after. I hope you understand. So one more time. If you leave Japan, decide to go back to Japan, and then leave Japan again, if you left Japan the first time, applied for this, and got the amount you wanted, then you can't get that again when you come back for the second time. Capiche? If you don't understand, I'm sorry, I, I don't explain pro things properly. But on this form, the fill out form, it's just the basics, your name, date of birth, address in, address after you leave Japan, um, and then your bank in, banking information. Now you have to get this stamped with a bank verification stamp by your bank before you send it back. So as soon as I arrived in April, I got all of this done because I wanted my money immediately. <laughs> but yeah, so as soon as I arrived in Japan, I got all of this done. And it also has your basic pension number and all that information you should have from your pension book. So this is my pension book that Kainan sent me when I first arrived in 2015. 
as I mentioned in another video, I got pension exemption for the first year. So when I arrived, I went to City Hall, I told them um, I, didn't, I wanted pension exemption and they approved it, but it's only for one year. So the year after that, I was paying, see, I have all my receipts here of my pension payments. The year after that, I got pension exemption again, but it wasn't the full amount. So every month I had to pay 4,070 yen. Depending on when you go to Japan, that amount might change, and this is for Kainan, for me. Different cities have different amounts, so you have to watch out about that. Uh, in the third year I was there, I had to pay, I didn't get the full pension amount again, but it was more than the previous year, so I had to pay 12,320 yen. And then for the final year I was in Japan, I think you only get three years of some kind of deduction. So for the final year, I had to pay the full amount that my city required, and that was 16,000 yen, 16,340 yen. You can convert that to US dollars if you want. All the figures I'm stating are in yen because that's how I do. Okay, so this is my pension book, all in Japanese, not in English. So I never really understood anything of it. I just use it to, as a reference to put my stubs, my pay stubs, pay slip, payment, proof of payment of my pension. Now, in your book, so you have some instructions, I guess. I never read it. But on this page, so I guess I can show you my old address. There you have your pension number. So that's what you'll put on this application form. So when I went to Kainan, when I was leaving Japan in March, the persons at the pension section explained all of that to me, how to fill this out. Now, once you fill out this document, you have to send the following. Let me just, all right. So once you fill out that document, um, you have to send the following. Oh. So you have to bring this back with you to, Jama to Jamaica or wherever you're coming from. And by the way, I think this, this, this service, this pension refund service is limited. Not every country can do it, but definitely Jamaica and I think America. But I don't know about anywhere else, sorry. I'm only speaking on what I know. So if you're Jamaican and you're coming back, you can get this service. So other things you will need. So I keep saying so, I'm so sorry, yes, I have it. I have, once you fill out the form and you're in Jamaica, so remember you have to leave Japan. You have to actually leave Japan, come out of Japan, come out of the people of the country. Go back to your country and then you send these documents, the following documents I'm gonna mention, along with your application form, back to Japan. Got it? Okay, so you have to send, you have to send. I sent in a copy of my pension book, this page with the pension number and my name and the address I had in Japan. And then I also sent a photocopy of my passport page uh, showing your name, date of birth, and nationality. So you know that main page of your passport. The application form and what else? What else did I send? Oh, pension book, copy of the pension book. I didn't send a whole pension book, I just sent a copy. The photocopy of the other one. And I think that was it. Yeah, that was it. But you can check the website that I'm going to link below for details or go have the persons at, oh, here it is. So when I went to City Hall, the very nice lady there gave me this and she highlighted clearly the documents that I needed to return. She said it like a million times, please send this. Oh, and this was in English. So she actually gave me the English copy. So that's great about City Hall in Kainan. I guess other City Halls will have it too because there are a lot of foreigners in Japan now. But evidence and supporting documents other than the application form that I mentioned before, photocopy of your passport page showing your name, date of birth, nationality, signature, you know that main page. Um, documents including your bank certificate of notice showing your bank's name. So on, that means on the application form where you put the information about your bank and also the stamp and your pension handbook or other documents. So that's the photocopy. So that would be 
a photocopy of the main page of your pension book, like here, that shows your pension number, right? So those were the only documents, photocopy, not originals, not originals. Do not send your original password, passport. Do not send your original bank um, pension book. See, I still have mine. Photocopies of that, plus the form that you would have filled out. And after that, you send it back by mail. And she was so nice. She actually gave me two copies of this. And you basically just cut this out and put it on the envelope that you're sending. Really easy. And then you wait. You wait and wait and wait. I waited. I applied in April and I got my refund. I don't remember. I think it was August. It was August. So that's April, May, June, July, August. Five months. Five months. But I think the maximum wait time is six months. So between... I guess three to six months because it takes a while to you know do that um, process the application but no problems the money went straight to my bank account I saw the amount in there I was like super happy ah I should mention the total amount I'm not gonna tell you how much I got back because that's none of your business I was happy for it though but I think it's 80% of the amount that you were paying okay so for the for me, for three years, any amount I paid is 80%. There was a way to get back the full amount if I had registered someone to do my taxes while I left. And I just couldn't be bothered. So I didn't do that. And I just took the 80% because I was like, money, I don't care. So yeah, so I think that, that's all, all the details I need to tell you. You will get back your money once you follow the instructions and send the supporting documents necessary really simple process so for me initially everybody like all my friends and every all the other foreigners I know they were like I'm not gonna pay for pension I don't want to because with interact they didn't they said they recommended we were to pay pension but other companies actually just take the pension out of your salary and pay it for you um, interact they leave that up to you to pay your pension and they're like listen we're not taking responsibility you know you're supposed to be pay paying into the pension program you live in Japan everyone who lives in Japan is supposed to pay into the pension services program so my people I know who are like I don't want to pay I'm not gonna pay I'm not gonna live in Japan forever why am I paying into their pension program but for me it was like a savings account basically it was me forcing myself no following the law first of all and forcing myself to put away that amount of money and in the end it worked out because i got a little money back you know everything's groovy so that's it for this video i hope it helps you for when you've decided to leave japan and you're worried about all the money that your company took for pension payments or you paid into the service by following the law like everyone should okay and if you have any other questions about pension payments or pension exemptions feel free to ask me in the comments below and i'll get back to you okay so till next time bye